Hey, Frontline fans! Welcome back to Comic Frontline and Fans. You're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, bringing you that all important convergence review so you fans can make the decision on what convergence books to buy. And today, fans, we're talking about Convergence Justice League. Uh, issue number one. That's right, fans. Uh, now, just like we promised here on Comic Frontline, we promise to review every single Convergence title while this is event is going on. So again, yes, I've had the privilege of reviewing Justice League issue number one. Uh, this book is written by uh, Frank Thierry, and the artwork is done by Vincent... Um, can't say the gentleman's last name, so I apologize. I don't want to butcher it, but I just want to say that the artwork in this book is gorgeous. Absolutely. Everything about it, the coloring in here is is beautiful. Facial expressions are beautiful. Um, just the detail that goes into this book is absolutely uh, outstanding. I loved looking at this book. It really drew me uh, into this story. And there's characters in here that if you're fans of Santana and Vixen and Jade, uh, you know, you're going to like this book uh, because, you know, some of these characters we haven't really seen so much of. But again, the artwork was was gorgeous. Uh, Kara in this issue is drawn beautifully. She's got that long blonde hair and, you know, just just a you know great book visually to look at in here um here we get to see also aquaman a, a different timeline or or earth uh, makes an appearance in this issue and he looks just like a complete badass so visually this book is just outstanding and uh, i loved looking at it and it drew me to this story really got me involved so what did i think about this particular issue uh i i i liked it i mean this was the all all girls justice league this is this is what this is and it consisted again of kara santana jade mira vixen so it, it, it was all these girls that were involved in here uh and the and jesse's in here as well she's the one that's pregnant she's the one that's you know giving birth here and uh you know it's funny she makes this comment and she just sits there and says oh yeah i can i could have run faster than this uh but we wind up finding out in this in this book is just as uh you know jesse is giving birth to her baby uh we wind up seeing that the dome goes up and if you're not familiar with convergence at this point there's this character by the name of telos who, who's gathered all these cities and is putting them on this planet, and eventually they're all going to be pitted against each other. Uh, but for one year, this dome is up, and what happens is it gets rid of all our heroes' powers. So they have no powers whatsoever for an entire year. Um, so throughout this issue, you're just seeing really the characters interact with each other here on, you know, how they're living their day to day lives and how they're dealing with uh, life as it being practically normal. Uh, Mira is the one that's just, you know, can't get over the depression. Uh, she misses Aquaman. She wishes she could see him again. And, and she just can't. She's just missing him. Uh, but again, as we, we continue with this issue, we wind up seeing. Uh, a version of Aquaman here that's not the version that we all know and love. Uh, this guy is just pure evil. And uh, we get to see that he kills somebody because uh, this person mentioned Mira's name. And he's in search for Mira as well, his version of his Mira. And uh, as the issue progresses, we get to see that all-famous message that you've seen in all of the Convergence books. And we get to see Telos here explain to him that, you know, cities will fall. There'll be one city left standing, and then the dome is released. And once the dome is released, we wind up seeing that everyone gets their powers back. And um, we wind up seeing that a big squid comes. And we all know that something has to do with Aquaman. And then Mira is involved in the whole situation. And she winds up being captured, and the girls have to go after her. Um, and we find out that, uh, Mira realizes that that's not the Aquaman she knows and Aquaman knows that's not the mirror she, he knows, but they'll be forced to love each other. And that's what Aquaman says. And, uh, before this whole thing happened, his, his, uh, whole, he was going to attack the city to begin with. So it looks like that the, uh, Justice League and, and Aquaman and everybody was going to attack each other anyway. So it just says lionfish, tiger sharks, and Aquaman 
Oh my, there's plenty of fish in the sea. And then next, our, our, our girls are practically fighting all of them. And so that's how this um, this issue ends, where they're going to fight the Aquaman army. So really cool stuff here. And then just like all the other Convergence books, if you want to catch up on some of the history of the, the of uh, JLA, uh, you get to see the history of the teams because there's been many different versions. And it does a really nice job there at, at wrapping the whole thing up. So um, solid book. I, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I thought... The interactions between the girls were good. Uh, I think if you really like these characters, these female characters, um, you're going to like this book. Uh, I thought there could have been a little bit more meat to the main portion of the story. It really didn't get going until the end when it has to do with Mira and Aquaman. Some people might not be uh, fond of the Aquaman situation uh, here at the end. They might have been maybe expecting something else. Uh, with the girls and, and their interaction with, with the with our villain here or whatnot. Uh, but I thought it was a solid story. And, and again, that artwork was just absolutely gorgeous to look at the book. And so uh, this didn't quite get four stars for me, but I got really close. I got three and a three quarter stars. I quite enjoyed this book visually. And the story was, was solid, but I thought maybe it could have had a little bit more better of a of a cliffhanger for me. Maybe it just didn't impact me as much just because I'm not a huge, huge Aquaman fan. So uh, we'll see where it goes, though. I'm looking forward. I will be picking up issue number two. Guys, leave me comments below what you thought of Justice League um, uh, issue number one. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until that next comic book review, check out ComicFrontline.com and check out ComicRelated.com. And fans, with all that co great comic goodness, how can you go wrong? So again, guys, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye.